On the farm, sometimes, folks, there needs to be repairs. So as many as you know, um, back in August of 2020, we had a small little tornado come through the farm. And uh, in May of this year, we had some hail come through the farm. So it's time to replace the old shingles with um, some new shingles. And this is my old shingle um, that I've taken down off the roof. And the minute you crease it once and then uh, crease it back, it just comes apart. So I wanted to try something that had um, more flexibility and better granular retention. So I went to these uh, class four um, shingles that are meant to be a little bit more hail resistant and they're still terrible. Um, you can still tear them. Um, you can still bend them. Um, so it's not like they're, you know, free from problem, but they're a lot tougher because they're impregnated with a rubber. And um, I'm real, I'm real pleased with that. So I'm gonna put these on my roof and hope they hold up better. Now, I'm not naive. I understand they got you know more glue on the back of them to hold them down, and I understand they're thicker. Um, I found some of my original old ones that have never been on a roof stored inside. So I'm just playing with those a little bit here to see how strong those are. And those too, they just one fold and they break. And again, if you hit them with a inch and a quarter hail, they cracked and we had water damage. Versus these new ones, um, you know, they're, they're not supposed to do it until we get to over an inch and a half or two inches. Um, and the granular retention is supposed to be a lot more. Again, I'm able to tear them, um, I'm able to rip them, I'm able to, to break them down, but it just takes a little bit more effort to do it. So I'm really hoping um, this is worth it on the farm, folks. So I kind of wanted to show you how the process went. Um, it went really well. Um, we had the luxury of li using Liberty um, exteriors in town. Jace is a cool kid. Um, he came out and got his crew out here. And it took me about, oh, I don't know, two months to kind of settle with the insurance company to get some funds. You know, not trying to be mean, but there's a deductible. And then there's the question of how bad the damage is. But, you know, eventually we came to a reasonable settlement. So it's time to rip off the old and put on the new. And again, when I got to that part of picking out, um, you know, um, I'm not going to bash him, you know, but, um, you know, it got a little tricky with the insurance company because, you know, they want to replace what's up there. And what is up there is a Timberline HD shingle. It's 15 years old. Um, it's held up pretty decent except for some of the 70 and 80 mile an hour winds. We had a little bit of shingle damage then. And uh, that was at that small tornado. But regardless of that, we were able to patch that stuff and kind of move on. This time, it's not real patchable. We had a crack in one of the hips, which was starting to leak, and we had to silicone it. We had some bird guard that got broken off a couple shingles, and that put holes in them. Um, we had some shingles that had lifted and then cracked and came off, which was not the best. So, you know, it's, it's a, it's a good-sized farmhouse with a lot of hip roof and a big porch on the front. So it was time to take it off. And this time I asked him if we could put, obviously, the um, stick on, you know, uh, water barrier on the last two feet like we always do. But I asked him if they could, you know, use a synthetic um, uh, sheet laminate or tar laminate, whatever you want to call that, all the way up the rest versus just a, uh, a flimsy, you know, tar paper. So um, they agreed to that. And then, of course, we had the discussion with the insurance company about the shingles and Shingles cost more, folks. There's just no way around it. Um, these are a class four impact resistant certainty. They're called Climate Flex. Um, I guess their their North Gate series has been on the market for a half dozen years, and the Climate Flex is new to them this year as far as branding. And you know, it comes with a nice long warranty and also kind of a little stiffer bill. But here's the trade-off, folks. State Farm's willing to give me a deduction for putting it on the roof, and in three years I'll have paid for the extra money that it cost me to put the shingles on because I had a deductible plus a difference in the cost of the shingles. I think it's going to be worth it. Um, I get a better, better vapor barrier under the whole entire roof. Cause like I said, I'm going with a synthetic instead of that kind of papery stuff. I get the redo on the last two feet of the whole, you know, stick on water barrier. And then on top of it, I'm getting new steel vents because the plastic ones had cracked in the hail and I'm getting all new boots on all the, pipes that come up and then I'm getting these shingles. Do I think these shingles will hold up to three inch hail? <sighs> no. And I hope we don't get it. But I do think when you get one inch hail or lower, these shingles are going to hold up a lot better. They're going to retain their granulars better 
and and they're going to hopefully take the wind better. And the reason I think they're going to take the wind better is because they're just a heavier shingle. They weigh more. The other thing is, is they've got three glue lines on them versus the old ones had two. They had one on the bottom uh, of the middle of it, so to speak, and then they had one on the top, which grabbed the shingle that would have laid on it. These have three. They have top, middle, and bottom. So I think there's going to be better retention. See, in this part of the video, you can see where they put the synthetic stuff on top. That would normally look black on a roof, but it's um, this particular certain teed stuff is, is more of a white and with a blue bottom. And I think that's going to hold up better, too. Um, I'm real I'm real pleased with it. We did this all in one day. Um, it's a lot of work, um, myself included. You know, uh, I'm you know out there helping clean up, get stuff, you know, just, just trying my best with the crew. Um, my wife is out there. My little kid's out there. These guys are, are really pretty efficient to try to do this much rough in one day. They started at 6.30 in the morning, and folks, they finish at about, oh, I would say we actually finished pretty close to 8.30. Now the roll-off obviously will, will get taken out the next day and stuff like that, but it, it really did overall go pretty smooth. You know, this roof has a lot of valleys, has several big valleys in it, so those had to be redone with steel and, and, and so forth. And then it's got a lot of hip. Um, so there's a lot of hip shingles on it, which is, you know, it takes a little bit more work to get done. But we had a nice day with rain coming the next day, which, of course, it did. Um, and we were all dried in and everything was good. Um, we're going to come back and do the gutters yet at some point. But the poor gutter guys, because of the economy and stuff, don't have as much labor for us. And they're behind. So we'll, we'll catch up with that on the on the flip side. But for right now, it's, it's nice to see the old farmhouse getting a new roof and I think a better shingle. I think it's going to. I think it's really going to last better and, and do a better job. So that's just my opinion. And again, State Farms willing to give me a monthly um, discount, if you want to call it that, off the premium. And because of that, um, literally in, in uh, about 30 months, I will have paid for the difference I paid in the shingles, which I think is, is going to be worth it. Hopefully these Northgate Climate Flex shingles will you know hold up to their to their life expectancy. Now, the original roof was put on in winter, which the snow kind of pushed it down, and then eventually the shingles heated up when the hot suns came in the summer. What's nice about this is it's about 95 degrees out, so these shingles are baking down right away, which is going to make it a little easier um, as far as holding up for any storms that we get right off the bat. As far as color goes, um, I didn't feel there was as much color options in this series as what there was in the the, the uh, GFA or GAFC Timberline HD. I think that that company had a little bit more color choices than the Certainty did, but people tell me there's a lot more color choices in Certainty if you go with the lesser shingle. So that's just the way it is. But I think there were eight color choices we got to choose from. We went with Georgetown Gray. I know that's not as black as it was. Um, it has a little bit more of a gray tone to it and also a little bit more of a green tint to it. But I did that because the last shingles also picked up on the north side slopes a fair amount of, you know, fungus and mold. And that stuff looks a little green. And that looked a little off to me as things progressed over the life of the shingles. I always kind of wanted that to, to not be there. Now, these shingles have a, a more mold-resistant factor, too, because what they are is basically asphalt embedded into embedded into the rubber, and then the rubber helps retain the granules, so you get better granule retention, but then, of course, helps retain the asphalt. And since the asphalt doesn't have to be as thick, there's less surface for that to grow mold on because rubber typically doesn't grow much mold, which is good. So that's another um, advantage to these. I think wind rating on them was only uh, 110, but, you know, if you get 110 mile an hour wind, I've probably lost a few other things on a vinyl-sided farmhouse. So, you know, that's that's life with that kind of stuff. Certainly not trying to mislead anybody. Don't think, again, that because it's a Class 4, you know, hail-resistant shingle that it's going to live through all the hail. But I think this is going to do a lot better than, you know, a Class 1 or Class 2 shingle like we had that's, you know, probably not going to hold up to much more than one inch hail, if, if that. So sure looks good, folks. Um, we're getting to the end of the day here. Um, time is starting to dwindle. The sun is setting. They've got a lot of cleanup yet to do on the ground. Trailers to pack up, air tools to get off, and ladders and stuff like that. So as you can see, they, they really did work their butt off all day to get this roof done. I kind of want to show you a, a finishing shot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to the barn here and eventually pull out the the drone um, and you know I'm going to take some 
aerials of it so you can kind of see it from the top down. They did a really nice job uh, on the hips. So that was, you know, those roof cap shingles, you know, that go right over the, the hip parts. Um, that's That was a big deal for me. Um, and I really kind of watched, you know, how they did with cleanup and stuff. I, I got to admit, Liberty did a good job. You sometimes can tell a tell a contractor by, um, you know, how they clean up. And, and my contractor is based in town and they do some siding and other things too. And and they've been there for a long time. Jace is a second generation of the company. So I'm not using a storm chaser. So maybe that's why I paid a little bit more too. But either way, I feel blessed that my farmhouse is, has been able to work with State Farm and come up with a fair price. I get a nice discount here going forth and end up with a roof that I, I, I really do feel is, is going to do a better job on, on the old farmhouse here. So I kind of wanted to show it off. I guess I'm proud of it, folks. You know, it took a, a lot of work that day to get it done. And sure, we got we got gutters and stuff yet to do. But for the most part, it's done. I hope you enjoyed the video, folks. And I'll end with the parting shots here as we fly around the roof and, and show you what it looks like from the top view. Have a great day.